Steve, welcome to the CIO Zone. Thank you for inviting me. Well, it's a pleasure to have you. And since you told me that you are a reader of the CIO Zone, that makes me especially happy to meet you. Absolutely. So uh, you know who our readers are and our members out there. There are other folks like you. There's CIOs. And uh, that's what we put a high value on is this authentic information that we get from people who are in the trenches doing it every day and uh, really understand what the, the, the true issues are to be successful today with technology. So uh, you're, why don't you tell us first a little bit about uh, where you're from and uh, what your role is there in terms of how it might vary a little from a normal CIO position. Okay. Uh, I'm from Oklahoma Heart Hospital. Right. Uh, we're a system of two hospitals and 54 clinics uh, all throughout o Oklahoma. Uh, we were the first digital, all digital hospital in the United States, or at least we claim to have been. Uh, we were founded actually bought our first EMR up uh, on Cerner in 2002. Uh, we've been all digital from out that time, not just on the uh, EMR side, but all of our uh, cardiac packs, x-ray, and, and so forth. Right. So uh, I have to tell you that I've heard of Oklahoma Heart, and I understand that uh, you've won an award, not an award really, but you've been honored by uh, Consumer Reports recognizing your hospital as the best in the country. Is that true? Yeah, we were rated number one by uh, Consumer Reports. Actually, if you go out to their hospital compare site uh, and you put any state or any hospital in, the one it comes up against is Oklahoma Heart Hospital. No kidding. So why, why, why is that? Uh, well, I think it's uh, we have a, a, a unique culture and a unique unique way of uh, caring for our patients. Uh, uh, we're also uh, rated in the top 1% for press on uh, patient satisfaction, which is a big driver. I would think so. So I think between that and our core measures and how we uh, we, opt, we think that that makes us the best place to be for cardiac care. Well, that's terrific. It must be something to be proud of, to be working with a great team like oh, that. Oh, it is. Too. It's a wonderful team. It's a wonderful hospital. The, uh, the physicians, who are also the owners, are integrated into the process. Okay. My, uh, uh, my boss, the CEO, is also a practicing cardiologist uh, who works every day. Uh, my advisory team is a group of, of, of cardiologists and business team members who are integrated in the business, and they, they are very uh, hands-on, and we work every day about on how to manage the uh, IT systems and the EMR and so forth in That's the best excellent. possible way. Well, that, that must be uh, make it a lot of fun to be with great people like that. It does, and I have a great team of, of my own. That, that my, uh, my clinical systems director is outstanding. Uh, Michelle Mullen, she does an outstanding job uh, really taking care of our EMR and all the, all the, all the needs of our uh, physicians. And that's really what you need is somebody who understands the clinical processes who can really integrate that into the overall workflow of your organization. Uh, the one thing I'd like to ask you, because uh, I've heard it said, but I don't know it from personal knowledge, that being a CIO in a, in a healthcare uh, environment is different than being a CIO, you might say, in a manufacturing plant but or something like that. Yeah. It's inter interesting that you would ask me that question. Uh, I actually came out of oil and gas. No uh, out of, actually, out of Oklahoma. Oh, well, that makes uh, sense. I uh, worked my entire career in oil and gas and uh, transitioned to healthcare just a little, little over four years ago. So uh, uh, that was a unique transition, but a very uh, pleasant one, I must say. I mean, uh, I think I, I moved out of oil and gas at the right time and into, into healthcare with everything going on with uh, meaningful use and technology. And really, this hospital was really something that was uh, very likened to the kinds of things I'd done in the oil and gas section, very technology-oriented, very automated. And uh, the challenge they had when, when I came on board was a lot of their systems were, were, were had A's, even though they were one of the first digital hospitals. You know, that's about five years in. Right. Of course, everything starts to age, and you have to go through a complete retooling. And that's what we've been able to do over the last three or four years. Of course, years. the really petroleum you were used to constantly oh, yeah. Yeah, plenty of money, yes. <laughs> or most of the time. Right, to lubricate the gears yeah, and commerce. So not quite as uh, as lucrative on the healthcare side from that perspective, but uh, our hospital's done a good job of giving us what we need, really because we think we deliver what the physicians need and what the clinicians need to, uh, uh, to do their job more effectively. And it's, it reflects in our scores and our, and our patient satisfaction. And uh, I, I think that some people have observed probably correctly in some ways and not in others, that healthcare IT is a laggard in a sense behind what industry has done over the years, mainly because of incompatibility of systems yeah, and whatnot. Absolutely. But you come from an environment where you're used to having the, the best and the newest technology. Yeah, and I, I quite I'm pleasantly surprised that, you know, in our organization, I think though when I talk to my 
other brethren at other hospitals, I see really how lucky we are to have the technology that we have. Because you're right, uh, you know, uh, soap and web stuff and all that. We were using that in oil and gas, right. you know, eight nine years ago, exactly. and just you know, beginning to become the thing uh, where you know XML and all the things that we were commonly doing in oil and gas now in healthcare is really becoming mainstream. So I think that gives us a leg up uh, from our perspective on, sure. on the way to manage information more effectively. And you were certainly well prepared for it. Absolutely. You just I had to remember, it was, it was you don't good, have to predict yeah. the future. Exactly. <laughs> Why can't we do it like this? Exactly. You know? <laughs> exactly. That's a fantastic position yeah. to be in.